Time for episode two of Hot Wheels unboxing. Um, I've got quite a few this episode, and I'm gonna try and get through them a little bit faster. Uh, so we're gonna start off with all the main lines, and then just work our way up from there. The first ones I got here are two WRX hatchback STIs. We'll start with this blue one right here. I'm quite a fan of the white wheels on cars. I may even consider doing it to a real car someday. I don't know which one exactly, but I do quite like white wheels. So we've got the first one opened up right there. We're gonna move on to this red one. They're the exact same car, just different colors. So we'll be brief on this one. It's got a nice gold ring on the wheels. It's got this weird mountain pattern on the side, which the, the other darker one that I have also has that. Um, I gotta say, out of these two, I think I like the red better. I will say th this casting of this car does seem a little small for some reason. It seems a little small compared to like this WRX. It, I think it's a different generation. I don't know Subarus very well, but I'm pretty sure it's a different generation, but it does just seem a little smaller in every direction. It's a little off, I think. Like, maybe this one's too big, but I don't know. These ones seem small to me. We're gonna go with the 68 Mercury Cougar from Muscle Mania. Um, I really love the Cougar. This livery is not necessarily my favorite color combo, but it is just a nice car. So this is a very nice car. I do love the Mercury Cougar. It's got hood pins with wires on them, or cables, I mean. It's got side exit exhaust. It's got a nice duck bill spoiler, or duck tail, I mean. I always say duck bill for some reason. Although the top, I'm noticing this stripe is a little scratched up. Happens every once in a while. You know, I don't think I hate this livery as much as I thought I would. Looks better outside of the box. All right, next one we got is the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. I have seen this one quite a lot at the store and I have just slept on it every time and I finally just decided to get it. Nothing really just jumped out to me about this car. I just thought it kind of looked like whatever. I never really cared about the Speedster too much. Um, having it out of the box, though, it's not so bad. I kind of like the shape of the seats, the little oval shape on them. Kind of still whatever in my eyes. Like, it's not really the coolest car, I think. That's just my opinion. I don't really care for this, this one too much. Now we've got an EV, the Lucid Air. Uh, I didn't really know anything about this car until I started looking up a couple videos on it. Um, they've got some different trim levels. I have no idea what the different trim levels are. There is apparently like an 1100 horsepower version of this car. Um, but looking at it now, it looks kind of boring. I mean, what do you expect from a, an EV like this? I mean, the headlights and taillights are cool, huh? They're just a line across, but it, they're, you know, it's kind of a boring car in my opinion. Although, the glass top is really nice. I do love glass top cars, and if I could change anything about my Mustang, I wish it was glass top. All right, next up, we got the Corvette C6R. This is a pretty cool little race car Corvette. Uh, the C6 is definitely one of my favorite Corvettes out of most of the modern ones. 
hood looks pretty cool too with the little vents and everything on there. Now we've got a pretty cool 32 Ford with a Gulf livery. Nice little hot rod. My grandpa has an old Ford like this, although it is not painted so nice, it's just rusty, but that's kind of the look he likes. You know, honestly, even though the Golf livery looks really nice, I don't really know how much it fits this car. I, I, I don't know. I don't think it really goes with this car too much. Now we got the Range Rover Classic. Got quite a few off-road type vehicles this episode. It's got like a topographic map on the side of it. Doesn't look half bad. And then we've got the big Bel Air for the Bel Air series, which I do really want to find all of them in the Bel Air series. It's got details of the suspension sticking up through the hood. It's got a light bar on the front uh, and on the top. Uh, spare tire in the back there. And something in the trunk. It might be a jerry can. Maybe? Does that look like a jerry can? I don't know what that is. This is definitely a very cool car. Uh, this one, out of the ones that I've got this episode, this is one of my favorites, definitely. 57 Bel Air. Looks wicked. Now I've got two more off-road vehicles from Baja Blazers. We'll start with the Jeep Gladiator. 2020 Jeep Gladiator. This one I definitely had to get because it has dirt bikes in the bed, which I do like dirt bikes if y'all didn't know, which I don't expect any of you to know. Sponsored by Borla, apparently. I don't actually know what kind of motors come in these, so hopefully it's a V8 so that Borla can sound good. Overall, it's a pretty cool little Jeep. Then we got another Jeep, the 95 Jeep Cherokee. Pretty nice green color. It's very dark. It actually looks brighter on the camera than it does in person. It's a very dark green. It's got some hood vents, beadlock wheels. Looks like it got jerry cans, spare tire, whatever else would be hanging on there. And then on top, shovel. Um, can't really tell what that is. What is that? If any of y'all know what that is, go ahead and tell me. Next up, we got one of them, which I'm pretty sure is going to be one of my favorites for this episode. It's the 67 Ford GT40. It's a very good looking car. I saw this one and I just, I had to get it. I haven't seen it. I only saw it once and it, this is the one I got. This is the only place I've seen it so far. I haven't seen it again, so this one might be kind of rare, but I don't know. Tell me if y'all have found this one. Of course, got the Golf livery on there. Looks really sleek. Got the nice exhaust. The whole back looks spot on. You know, I actually found for sale a GT40 engine that I considered for a bit putting into my 65 Mustang, which would have been really cool, but it's already mostly the same engine. I mean, obviously there's upgrades to it, but it's mostly the same engine, and then I wouldn't want to touch it too much because then, then I'd be ruining the novelty of it being a GT40 engine. So I kind of just decided to leave what I've got in there, and then I can mod that to however I want. But it would have been really cool to have a GT40 powered Mustang. Now these next two, I've got two Shelby Cobras got the yellow one and a blue one which just looking at them in the box I like the yellow one better so far definitely looks really good 
the other one here, the blue one. All right, so here we go. They're pretty much, or they are the exact same livery, just different colors. Ah, you know what? Actually, this blue one looks a lot better out of the box. Yep, so I think I'm changing my mind. I like the blue one better. They're both really cool though. These next four, these are the last of the main lines. I've got four of the Hot Wheels exotics. And I'll start with the, um, bear with me trying to pronounce this. I think it's the Automobile Panina Farina Batista is pretty sure that's how you say that. It's a mouthful. So I already have the yellow one of these and I just figured I'd get this one too, might as well. Nothing really like stands out about it too much. Like it's it's nice looking, it just nothing really pops out compared to others. I feel like I gotta stop saying it's a nice car to everything. I don't want to sound repetitive, but I'm not used to making these kinds of videos yet, so bear with me. Now this one I've been looking for for quite a bit. It's the Pagani Zonda R. I think you say it Zonda. I hope I'm not mispronouncing a bunch of this. Really, I have the Wyra Roadster, and this one, I actually like the Zonda better, I would say. It just looks way more aggressive. It's got a really, it's got a huge garden rake diffuser. It's got the nice quad tip, like central exhaust, which is always really cool. It's got a big wing. It says Pagani on it. Gold wheels. This has got to be one of my favorite supercars. Moving on to the McLaren uh, Elva. Elva. I have the black one of these, and I like the blue a lot better than the black. Blue definitely fits this car a lot better. I feel like if you're gonna have a supercar, you want it to be kind of a color that would stand out. Well, yeah, maybe I take that back because the black does look pretty good on the Zonda. It's a nice car. I like this better than the black one. I said it again. I said it's a nice car. You know what? Bad car. Hate it. Here we go for the last one out of the main lines that I have is the Vantage GTE, which is a really cool car. I'm glad I found this one. This is a great looking car. I love this one already. It's got super aggressive side skirts diffuser, splitter, and what looks like to me, it looks like, is that the exhaust there? I don't know. I don't know anything about this car. I just know that it's cool. It's very good looking. This is going to be one of my favorite main lines, definitely. I have three more before we get to the premiums. If I don't really consider these main lines, I guess they're kind of main lines because they're the same quality of car, but you know, the ones that come in special boxes and are slightly more expensive <laughs> for the same car. Anyways, we got the C5 Corvette first, which I actually used to not care for the C5. This used to be my least favorite Corvette. And you know, all it takes is you see a nice one one day, sounds good or looks good, just sets right, and it changes your mind you fall in love with the car that's what happened with this car i saw a video somebody racing one and it just sounded great looked great from behind obviously it won <laughs> i'm pretty sure also a little fun fact i think this was the last car to be produced with pop-up headlights i think this is a 97 so not this one in particular but this generation it definitely feels big too this is a big car all right, now we've got two of the holiday edition cars here. Uh, the We'll start with the Toyota off-road truck, which these have always been really cool. I used to watch videos of these trucks doing crazy stuff. I think Hot Wheels did some, I don't know if it was the Toyota one exactly, but they had trucks that look similar to this that they do crazy jumps with back in like 2012 or something like that. Um, the white tires. I think look awesome. I love the white tires. I like the snow. It just looks great. I might want to get more of these holiday edition ones while they're still out because 
they just look so great. I love the white tires on the bead locks. It's pretty nice detail that this one's black still. It doesn't have snow on it. Now something I've noticed is that there's no glass. I don't know if that's how these really are. That's kind of insane. I've driven without a windshield. If you've seen my video driving my 65 Mustang around. Hey, look at that, more white tires for the Land Rover Series 3 pickup. This one, I think just looks great. I don't know what it is about this, but this kind of pickup, the single cab, just really square looking. I, I love it. Looks great. Got another spare in there. That's also black, nice. White tires again, I already know, I love it. This just, I don't know, it, it, looks, it looks great. Oh, it's got a little snowman on there. Uh, I'm not much of a truck guy, but I do really like this truck. I would want to own something like this. All right, I won't spend too much time on that one because we got to move to the premiums. All right, so now I have this entire Hot Wheels Boulevard set. I opened the Rover Aerosculpt and WRX in the last video, and I found these two. I found them right as they were taking them out of the box, getting them on shelves. Uh, I just happened to be there. I'm not one of those people who will just scalp everything. I only take what I need. So this one is going into my collection. It's nice. I don't have any of the RTRs. This is the RTR Spec 5. Okay, it's got plastic around it. It's kind of hard to see these sometimes because the camera's in the way and this little thing actually blocking the screen. So I'm kind of having to do this blind. All right, look at that. I love these wheels. These are probably my favorite real riders, or one of my favorites anyways. They just look so good. One thing I noticed about this car, and I looked at a few of them, because I thought it might have just been this one in particular, but the headlights look like they're not there, which is kind of weird, judging by how many other things are on the car. Even though on the box art it shows actual headlights being there. Looking at the bottom here, there's not too many details on it. You can see the diff and some suspension, but that's about it. No exhaust. So that's cool. My first Spec 5 Mustang. And then this one is also pretty cool. Got the custom 1970 Chevy Nova. You know, once I was helping an old lady carry out her groceries, and for some reason we got onto the topic about cars. I think there was a Corvette parked next to her, and she mentioned that she had a C4 Corvette, and I was thinking, oh, that's pretty cool, I was telling her about my Mustangs, and she told me that she had, back in the day, had a Nova that ran nines in the quarter mile and did wheelies, and I was, you know, I was just carrying out the groceries for this old lady, and then she's telling me about her nine second Nova that did wheelies all the way through second gear, and then the deep dish wheels are also really nice I said really nice again I'm just gonna keep saying that I'll just put it in the title really nice got side exits you, as you can see looks like long tube headers this car is a really nice color I said it again this car is an amazing color and I'm really wanting to paint my 65 Mustang green, some sort of green. Not like this green, not like a hunter green or something. Then, you know, that fits a Jeep. From Mustang, something like this green. I think it needs to be a little bit more saturated, but I would want to paint my Mustang that color. The front end of this looks great too. Headlights, the SS symbol. It's got really wide tires. This is a great looking car. And last but not least, found the Lancia race car and trailer. The Lancia Stratos Group 5 with the Sakura Sprinter. It's a funny name for a truck. There's also a Shell Team Transport. Y'all think I should get that one? I don't know if I like the Shell too much, but the car looks neat. Tell me if you think I should get that. It's just that these ones are $15 for the team transports. They're pretty expensive. Alright. Let me just take that off entirely. 
came out pretty easy. Just get the plastic off. And let's see if these just fall out. Nope, car fall out. I guess we'll look at the truck first. Uh, I don't have this truck yet. I quite like it actually. Out of the trucks that I have, this one might be my favorite. It kind of looks like an ambulance. Now time to look at the car. It's got, I think those are the same wheels on the rear anyway that were on the Nova. Yeah, they look like it, very deep dish. The front wheels though are quite a bit smaller. Gives it a pretty nice look. It's very, um, oh, you know what this car looks like? It looks like an A-wing from Star Wars. That's what it makes me think of. Got nice louvers. Tail lights look awesome. So does the exhaust. Is that a turbo setup? What is this? I don't know anything about this car. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the cars that I'm opening, I don't know anything about. And I don't know if that's disappointing to y'all or what. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about Group 5, but I don't know if that's supposed to be a turbo or what's what's going on there. It looks it looks really cool, though. I always, I like the uh, Lamborghinis with the exposed exhaust system with turbo setups. Um, I like that look. And this is pretty similar here. Looks nice. Is this a mid-engine? I know nothing about this car. I'm embarrassing myself. It kind of looks like it would be a mid-engine car, but I'm not sure. If I have to pick a favorite out of today, I think I'm going to go with the Nova. This one just looks awesome overall. It's a really cool custom car. So I'm going to wrap it up for today. Um, I hope y'all enjoy this series, the few who watch it. I'm realizing at this rate, I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of these. This is my current collection. I think I'm gonna run out of room.